Hi guys, hope you all doing good. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about my most recent blog post and I'm going to first share with you guys a few verses and the first verse is do your best to present yourself to God as one approved a worker who has no need to be ashamed rightly handling the word of truth and that is 2 Timothy 215 and the second one is show yourself in all respects to be a model of good works and in teaching and dignity uh, excuse me dignity um, that is Titus 2 through 7 and the last one is teach me to do your will for you are my God let your spirit lead me on level ground and that's Psalm 143 through 10 and today I want to talk to you guys about um, quarantine and like how being stuck at home can help us or can uh, excuse me make us to kind of feel bored and like uh, stuck doing the same things where we feel like we have to do the same things over and over again because we feel like there's like nothing to do so the few questions I want to start out by asking you is um, like have you been like are you feeling bored have you been feeling tired and like lazy you know because you have to stay at home and there's not much to do at home a lot of the times and have you been wanting to work on that blog or YouTube channel or that painting uh, but because of being tired you have not been like feeling like doing it or do you wish to see your time to use your time more wisely and not and uh, excuse me not focus on like the less important things all the time um, well before I started writing that this blog post yes which was yesterday um, so I came across this devotional and when I read it it was talking about using your time or it was kind of talking about using your time wisely and how important that is and it was using the verse um, actually let me see if I can um, like well it says like in all things like using your time wisely if I can find that um, I'll put that in the description box below excuse me and so um, when I read that it was like perfectly timed I thought for this devotional or this blog post that I was writing that kind of fit that I guess so for here's like an example of um, using your time wisely and like um, getting yourself up when you you don't feel like doing it and I'm sorry if you guys hear a dog barking in the background I um, my sister is over with her boyfriend and like I think they're teasing him so uh, sorry about that um, so yesterday when I woke up it was another cloudy and rainy day outside and it made me think oh it's just another gloomy day out I should just stay in my sweats and not do anything but inside I knew I really wanted to do something but I, sometimes you can't just can't like get yourself to do that even though you really feel like you want to but um oh and I'm reading from my laptop by the way if I'm looking to the right so um sorry so somehow despite it being cloudy um and rainy I changed my clothes I put on makeup and did my hair and um, I like got to wear my new cute jacket that I got and my mom and I went to get a coffee and we went to the store and I ended up writing th that blog post so it turned out to be a good day and I was proud of myself 
for getting myself to do that. <laughs> and so, so that's like, so sometimes even when it's cloudy out or if you are feeling really tired and you don't feel like doing anything, sometimes you just gotta like uh, push yourself and or force yourself to get up and maybe like you know, grab a like pick pick me up whether it's like coffee or tea or a good smoothie or whatever it is that you like, and to get yourself off that couch. And like even though doing that stuff for yourself isn't always easy, and when we do try and like force ourselves to get up, um, we can remember the verse that that um, that says. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. We can know that like God will be there to help us, to give us the strength and to help us get through the day. Even and He's like planned our days ahead of time too. So like we don't even know what is hap gonna happen or if it's gonna be a good day. So like how it turned out for me yesterday. So I want to encourage you. Excuse me too. Write that blog post, paint that picture, or um, paint that picture you've been wanting to paint, go on a walk or a run, clean up your room, or do something that will help you to feel accomplished and that will help you to feel good. Uh, let's do what we know that we should do and do what God has called us to do. So, um... Uh, one last thing that I want to say before I close this is pick yourself up, get dressed, do your hair or makeup, do one thing that will make you feel good today. You can do it.